Hey YouTube, this is Soho California Vintage, and I want to go over some of um, my recent hauls I got at the thrift store, and I wanted um, to share what I found and what I'm hoping to profit on my eBay store. So I'm going to go ahead and hop right in. I got this stencil brush and it has the original price on it as you can see I think this was a dollar fifty this stuff right here doesn't have any prices on it except for the jeans because um, I already listed it on my store and I just threw away the little tags but um, with this stencil brush it was around it was like a dollar forty dollar forty nine maybe and it had to be a actually it was it was a dollar forty nine because everything ends in nine at this thrift store. So this stencil brush, when I looked up comps, one sold for around give or take like ten bucks. Um, it's not a very there's not I don't think I, there's another one for sale identical to this. Oh no 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 I'm sorry I take that back there is but it's not packaged it's you know pre-owned it's already been used so um i might sit on this for a while it's going to take um, a specific artist to find this and who's going to want um specifically um a type of vintage stencil brush but um hopefully that goes sooner than later then i found this really cute pedigree puppy stampers this was a dollar and this is a collection. Um, it's a poodle. Now, when I seen it right away, because I know sometimes stamps go for good money, um, I had to investigate. You know, I was like looking in the package, making sure there was nothing wonky about it. And no, it's actually in really good condition. Um, inside still, it's it's detailed. And... Um, this was actually, there's a collection if you want to, like, collect other dogs. Um, this was produced in 91. So th this is definitely um, a vintage stamp. And there's a lot of dog lovers out there. Um, I think I have this priced around 15 maybe. Um, I haven't seen one sell recently in this good of condition. I think there were some, but they were already opened and... They're asking around eight or seven dollars. So, if if I happen to get an offer on that for around ten, I'll take it. You know, I'm not opposed to taking offers. Um, so before I found this, I found this. This was two forty nine, but then I got a discount. Like it was like an additional forty percent discount. Everything that I'm telling you right now that was priced, I got anywhere from 40 to 50 percent off so this was 249 now through the plastic it looks like oh it might be damaged because the plastic on the outside is like there's a lot of wear and tear as you can see this is the original sticker on the back and this is from 97 it was copyrighted in 88 but this one also dropped in 97 and it's just a Karopi um, fork and spoon really really cute set um, I think I have this based off of comps anywhere between 15 to 20 the Hello Kitty line this is part of like that um, branch they do pretty good and so um, I got excited when I found this This I, I dug in a basket when I was when I found this so um I was pretty ecstatic um, that nobody had picked it up already, but I was digging in a basket, so I got lucky. Um, in that same basket, I found this. Sometimes when you get donations um, of a household, they tend to have like similar items. So I found this, and it's a Hello Kitty Las Vegas bookmarker with a charm. And this was like $0.79, cents. original price is at the at one time was six ninety nine, I think I have this listed for ten to fifteen, based off of comps. The box is wonky; it's smashed, but it doesn't compromise the integrity of the book marker. I checked it out, and so um, very very cute. 
And then this came in a pack with other cards. The ones in the front were just like your basic um, playing cards. And I seen this. This was underneath a, a plastic bag. And as I was inspecting it, I could see that this was still sealed. Growing up, <clears throat> um, I played and I collected trolls. And so it was kind of nostalgic for me. This still has the original price on it from Clark Drugs, $1.99. This was like $0.79 cents with an additional 40% um, off. I have this listed and I'm getting a lot of views on it. Um, so I have good faith that eventually it'll go. Um, but yeah, this is super cute. Now with this one... Um, <clears throat> I think I just went on a hunch with this one. I didn't look up the comp. It has its original Bed Bath & Beyond 1989 price. Um, oh, hi, Silver. Um, she's, she's, <laughs> she's bombing my film right now. So, um, the Rumba are those portable, I mean, are those, um, those ro ro robotic, um, oh my god, I cannot think right now for the life of me. The Roombas are the, uh, they're like the uh, computerized, um, oh my god, I'm drawing a blank. Somebody's yelling through the video right now what it is. It's, a. Uh, it cleans the carpet. It's, it's, a. Uh, oh my god, it's so, so dumb right now anyways um i saw this and these are like filters and i was like somebody has to be interested in this these were around two bucks so hopefully um i make anywhere between 10 to 15 and um yeah this hopefully i could think of the name before i end the video this is ridiculous but um now I know how a uh, part-time pickers feels when he's stuck and he's just still filming. But this is a straight shot. I'm not cutting it. <laughs> so, yeah. So I got this. And then um, I've been watching Flip with Chris. And I didn't want to get into clothes. And I I'm still kind of skeptical about it. But he did a video based off of jeans, how well they sell. Especially, like, the more rhinestones are on the par pocket and um this one is in really good condition and i got this for half off so it was 250 silver stop it <clears throat> you're not supposed to get on the clothes that i'm selling so um i have this listed already this one's in really decent condition and i all and I, I mean i've never sold jeans before but i look at the bottom by where the shoe is to see if there's like you know wear and tear and these are actually close to um mint condition and then i found these um these levi's uh levi's san francisco and levi's these are like the boot the uh, super low boot cut and th okay we're done come on I'm going to move them up here. So, she wants to play. Um, these, no, 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 stop it. These were half off of $5.99. So, these were three. And then, these were half of $3.99. So, these were two. So, I have a few dollars invested in this. Sorry about that. Um, I had to put my cat in the other room. So um, I have a couple dollars in these jeans. And I have them listed. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, if they sell and I could at least get 20 bucks for them based off of, like, comps, I'm thinking I probably should have stuck to the rhinestone business. And I'm pretty sure this is more of an off-brand uh, but yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. I mean, eventually I will make back the money I did put into that, but 
I don't know. It To me, when I was listing them, because it was something new, it felt very tedious. But, I mean, if I see a good return on them, then I probably... Oh, those are some other pants I bought, but they're not listed. I They're Vans. They're... They're like high waters or something's going on with them. They're funky. Um, okay, so this is what I got today. And this is completely out of um, what I'm used to picking up. So let me go ahead and dive right in. I started seeing these um, stockings, these pantyhose. This one was $0.79. Cents. This one was $0.79. So I grabbed... All of them what I what I'll do is if I when if I start seeing stuff I'll grab everything that I'm interested in I'll put it in my cart and then I'll look up comps depending on how much time I have at before I pay I'm not gonna go one by one because that just delays the whole process so I looked up a comp of these and these are averaging um, these vintage uh, pantyhose around 10 10 to 12 dollars so that i mean that's not a bad return for investing 79 cents and then um these are yeah these were oh this one says 59 cents so i got 10 20 cents left less on that one 79 i got another one for 59 cents see it's like the same but it just depends i guess who's pricing it and based off of this comp i mean I think these are these are all large. This one's sheer toe off black nude, and this one is nude. I might bulk these in a lot and just ask for like I don't know, maybe twenty five twenty. I gotta look up this brand. Let's see if um, <clears throat> I all I know is that I grabbed them based off of this comp and. That worked for me. Oh, and then I got another box. The box is wonky, but it hasn't been open. And this, these are for knee highs. So I know somebody out there is looking for these uh, no nonsense six pair knee highs. Uh, Fifty nine cents. Yeah, I would have never thought to look into that, but I've been watching a lot of flipping videos, and so. You know, there's like a whole community out there, and it's great. Um, I picked this up for $1.99. I remember being at this thrift store and seeing it, and I passed up on it. Um, I looked it up, and I think the comps are anywhere from, they're around 15 bucks. It's a clarinet care kit, and it hasn't been opened. Now, the packaging is, like, you know, ripped, which I will disclose and show that, but it's, it's brand new, so it'll have to eventually sell. Then um, I found this. I had no idea who this was. Kenneth Copeland. I thought he was just um, an artist from like the 60s or 50s, but he's actually, um, he sings uh, ministry music. This is all sealed. The only thing that's ripped is right here. And I looked up comps on this, and they're really, really good. I think they're around $20, $25. And I typically don't get involved in CDs, but this one was $349. Um, I saw the comps, and they're selling consistently. So that one won me over. Now... As I happened to be at the thrift store that I got last time with this poodle, this time I found a um, gorilla, mountain gorilla. And this one was 99 cents. And it says, endangered species, collect them all. I didn't see any of the other ones. See that one time they were a dollar. Very, very cute. I think what makes these special, these stamps, is, well, one, they're still packaged, but you have the animal sitting on top. So, you know, it just makes um, anybody who's out there into stamps, um, it just makes it different, like more of a collectible item in a sense. And with all this stuff, and I also got 
a cat carrier because my cat is having surgery this month um, for only $15. So, I mean, alone, I'll make the $15 back with this. And so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. <clears throat> I'm going to have to hop off because I feel a cough attack coming on. But um, I've been sick these past um, week and a half. Anyways, um, if you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. It's free. If not, completely understand. You're not hurting my feelings. And um, this is the kind of content I do. I do um, thrift hauls for my eBay store. I do um, jewelry unbagging, vintage jewelry. Um, I go over uh, specifically like brooches, you know, just a little bit of kind of a little bit of everything in the thrifting community. But anyways, um, thank you for watching my video if you made it this far. And everybody have a good night. This is Soho California Vintage signing off. Thank you.